What's up, tubers? We're working on the AMT Heavy Chevy. Got everything off the trees. I've uh, cut and trimmed and sanded. And as you can see, I've got pretty much everything all glued together. Pre-sub assembly. And, you know, I can pick out those details later once it gets painted. And I kind of wanted to... I, I didn't put the exhaust headers on there because I wanted to... Drill some holes or run spark plug wires for this one for sure. Um, I had to glue the back pan on just because it's uh, a lot easier to do it now before it gets painted. And um, we'll we'll get everything put on some clips and get it on the stand and get some primer on it. And we'll come back. All right, we're back. Got some material down. Laid some color down, some uh, primer, and we'll go ahead and let that set up and dry and cure, and I'll come back and hit it with some, probably some 2,000, 3,000 grit before we lay this color down on it. I'm really excited to see how this comes out. Well, we've got some other various colors on the, you know, components like the exhaust and the steering wheels and the pulleys and whatnot. And the interior and everything's all set to go. I just need to lay some finished details on it, like all the engine. I'll go ahead and pick out all the details on that. The, you know, the starter and the carburetor and whatnot. And uh, we'll start putting this thing together. All right, little by little. Got some color on. Had to uh, put another coat of primer on this thing because I'm not sure if it'll show in the light there. There's a seam line or something something's bleeding through i hope it doesn't bleed through the color that i'm going to put on the top coat but you know if it does it does whatever got all this stuff all painted up and detailed and it's all just mocked up for now it's all just set there so i have to glue it all together but put a little you know a little color here and there to give it some depth and realism same with the uh the dashboard Hit it with a pencil. Really works pretty good, I think. Just a just a basic basic pencil. Yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty nice. So we could glue that stuff together and let this dry and let me see if I can pick it up without smearing it. Put some other color on it, fuel pump, new oil filter, and the starter, and let that stuff dry a little bit more, and we'll uh, get to work on the wires, put the wiring in, and glue the rest of it together, all the, all the other engine parts, the, this stuff all still needs a ah, coat of, uh, love this stuff accent panel line put that all over the grill and whatever else i'm going to use chrome kind of flattens it out gives it some, flattens it out and gives it some depth if that makes any sense so uh that's about it for now we'll get some next time we're back we'll have some color on this thing see what it looks like pretty stoked little by little we're getting there all right we're back with the final segment of the AMT 70 Heavy Chevy came out really nice. That paint just looks amazing. I'm really, really impressed with this material. This uh, testers was that it was a just a green metal flake, custom green metal flake. It just wow, really, really stoked. This was a replica build of a car I used to have, the one that got away. And it, I was basically the second owner of it, so it had that boring, plain interior with a really flashy paint job on it. And uh, these wheels that are on the model didn't come with it. I got stoked on those from somebody in our Facebook group. This came off the 68 El Camino, uh, also an AMT. And they just really make the car. That's what was on mine, so I really had to find them stoked on the tom for hooking me up on those cool man <laughs> look at that paint looks amazing and also kind of dressed up the interior or the uh, engine bay rather plumbed and wired and uh you know give it a little bit of detail on the bottom side and though uh 
I'll take some better pictures and share those at the end of this video. But I don't know if you can see that. Hold it still so it focuses. Uh, sorry, blurry video. The sway bars and whatnot. I use these pens. Just a little tip. Um, sawzall pens. They're meant for like marking metal. You're going to cut something with a sawzall or whatnot. And it leaves this almost a, a metallic look. Uh, they're they're pretty cool. I use them a lot for details and stuff. So, just a little thing I wanted to share, and uh, I also wanted to share that the wheels from Ravel finally showed up. So I've got all kinds of tires and wheel options for the upcoming Impala builds. So one more to the collection. So pretty stoked on the way this thing came out. I uh, hope you are too. Feel free to give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and there will be a slideshow of finished pictures at the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching.